morning. Isn't isn't Iwa great? Wasn't that great? Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to you know follow up, but they always put me after someone who always speaks really well. Um, and then I'm up here fumbling around for words just like that, you know. So, but um, you know, I'm here to talk talk about NIYC and my experience, and um, this is exactly what I'll do. But first, I'm going to preface everything with um, the simple fact that I have major FOMO. For you older people who couldn't, who weren't allowed to go to Hyphen, that means fear of missing out. Okay, yeah, I have major FOMO. And um, I don't know when it started and it continues to this day. And I can, <laughs> I can, I can tell you um, safely that it, definitely happened a lot while I was at college. Um, you know, seeing friends go out and party and do all this other stuff, you know, so much so that I even wanted to join them and I joined the frat, did all my stuff. And, um, you know, I honestly, it was just because I felt like I was missing out, you know, like everybody else was having so much fun and was able to go here, you know, DR, PR, you know, and have a great time with their friends, drinking at the bar and doing this and doing that. And, you know, fast forward, um, you know, a couple of weeks into my first fr um, year at school, and I met some guy right near campus, and he was wearing one of those signs, I don't know if you guys know, like sign that goes like that, and on his back, you wear it like that. And, um, you know, he had a big old megaphone and he was giving out cards and, you know, he was talking about Jesus. And everybody walked by him and we all, we knew him as that, that crazy Jewish, uh, Jewish guy, you know, like, I have no idea what he was, but we called him crazy Jewish guy. I don't, I don't even know if he was Jewish. But, you know, um, I think about it and... That man had such a fire for, you know, spreading the gospel or, you know, whatever he felt like he was doing out there. And while I was in NAYC, I actually ended up happening to meet one of those types of men. Um, he was my Uber driver and he comes from South Africa, Jermaine, and he used to go to um, his local college and hop on the bus and just start giving sermons just like that and I couldn't tell you how we started getting into this conversation but you know he was my uber driver and I can safely say that conversation was something that changed how I how I looked at people like that you know we called him crazy Jewish guy and I <laughs> I don't think he was crazy, you know? I, I mean, you know, he's crazy, sure, but he was crazy for God, and I think that's so much better than being crazy for other things, you know? And so this trip really opened my eyes and said, you know, you can have FOMO about your friends going out and doing this and doing that and, you know, going to concerts and going to the city and going to, you know, do whatever they want to do. But I started to gain a FOMO of missing out here. And that's something I, I, I don't want to miss out on. And young people, I really hope you guys, you guys feel that too, because that is something I don't think, I don't think we, any of us need to miss out on. And um, yeah, I think that's probably one of the biggest things that I gained from NAYC was having a FOMO of missing out in church and missing out with the experiences of my friends in church, you know, um, for the longest time, we didn't really have a youth group, a hyphen group, and now all of a sudden with, you know, the leadership of our great pastor and, um, you know, assistant pastor and their families, um, now we have, we, we were able to bring 23 people on a trip to St. Louis, you know? And I, I yeah, it deserves a round of applause, so, you know, um, I just, I think we have to have that FOMO about church, you know, the fear of missing out because I'm selfish, you know, I, I, I'm sorry, you know, I'm going to pray for all of you, but I, I want to go to heaven. And if you don't, I'm sorry. 
that's that's on you. You know, I'll pray for you, and uh, I I hope you get to heaven. You know, I'm going to be right there with you if I need to lay hands on you, if I need to pray with you, pray for your family. That's perfectly fine, you know, but I want to make it to heaven. And if that means up here jumping around like a crazy man, you know, speaking in tongues, showing people, you know, asking my friends, sending them, um, you know, Sunday sermon every week. That's what I've been, ever since I came back, that's what I've been doing. My friends tell me, like, you know, you really want me to come to church, don't you? I'm like, yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Because I love you, and I need, to, I need to see you here on Sundays. So, you know, make sure, make sure you spread that and, you know, have that FOMO, but have it here. Have it about this. So.